So, singles multi-feed exercises. We've always believed in doing multi-feed as part of your regular training, and with the help of UK number one, Toby Penty, and singles expert, Rad Youssef, we're gonna show you five singles multi-feed exercises you can do to improve your game. And on our website, we've just released our singles and doubles multi-feed training plans with 25 programs and over 80 exercises with video demonstrations for each. All of these training plans are designed to improve different aspects of your game, from your on-court fitness and speed to improving your quality and consistency. These multi-feed programs are perfect for both players and coaches to have access to whenever you need them. They're currently at a special price for the Black Friday weekend, and we've tried to make this accessible to everyone. In fact, we're practically giving them away. Link is in the description below if you want to check it out. Now, onto the video. In single shuttle training, if you make a mistake, then you'll get a short rest as the rally will have broken down. However, in multi-feed training, the set will continue even if you make a mistake. Although it's not as realistic, you'll be getting used to playing longer rallies and hitting more shuttles in a shorter space of time, improving your consistency. You're also playing at a faster pace with less time in between each shot, so you have to recover faster than you normally would in a game, so that when you get to a game, it feels easier and like you have more time. Each of these exercises, performed by professional singles player Toby Penty, have different purposes and target different aspects of the game. Firstly, you have a smash followed up with a net spin or kill, depending what position you're in. You should choose the right shot for the situation, either killing the shuttle if you're hitting it above the height of the net, or playing a net spin if you're taking it below net height. The feeder can lift to either side and also play the shot to the front court on either side. You should focus on having an explosive movement forwards after your smash as you want to apply as much pressure to your opponent as possible. Next up is an attacking four shot combination with three drives and then a fourth shot that is either a smash or the feeder plays it to the net and you move forwards to either play a net kill or net shot. You should focus on having a short crisp hitting action in your drives while still trying to generate power. It is also imperative to keep adjusting your feet as you can see Toby doing here. You should step into each drive taking it as early as you can. If you're not active with your feet then you may also struggle to move to the shot behind you or in front of you. Here, the feeding should be varied with a mix of shots at the body and also down the sides of the court using both smashes and drops. As the worker, you need to keep your legs low and focus on that first push-off to the shuttle. Your racket needs to be in a ready position as Toby is demonstrating well. You also need to be ready to get the occasional clear, as you can see here. If you aren't able to feed this with a racket, then you can feed by throwing the shuttles over the net. You just won't be able to feed the clear or the fast smash. For this exercise, the push can be to either side of the court and then the lift from the feeder should be cross-court from where they have hit the first push. The third shot, the net spin, can then be to either side of the court. As the worker, you should focus on the explosive movement back from the push to attack the cross-court lift as Toby is doing here. Then, when moving to the net, you should focus on lunging in time with the shot, making sure you're in control of your body. You should also be trying to play a really good quality net spin, which Toby is giving an absolute masterclass in here. Look at that. This should be done at maximum speed, which you would not always do during a singles rally. You should try and be early onto every shot, the feeder should play a variety of pushes and quick lifts like you can see. A key point is to make sure you stay relaxed when returning the push shots. 
making the right choices on whether to be aggressive or play a neutralising shot or net spin. And that was just a snippet of singles multi-feed training. There's a lot more variety that you should be doing in a well-structured plan to get the maximum benefit out of this sort of training. And this is why we've made both singles and doubles multi-feed programs that both players and coaches can use. Each program has a different aim and explains how you should feed it, how you should perform it, and video demonstrations are also included. If you're only a singles player, you can just buy the singles plans. And likewise, if you're only a doubles player, you can just buy the doubles plans. However, it is cheaper if you buy them both together. These programs are what professional players are doing regularly, and we've designed them so that players of all abilities can use them to improve their game. And this is why we've made it accessible to everyone around the world, by being both downloadable onto your phone and also very affordable. It's literally the equivalent of two coffees here in England, but this is way better for both your life and for your badminton. So go and buy your multi-feed programs, link is in the description below, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and give the video a like before you go. Mm -hmm.